Welcome to another edition of My Road to Thailand, Cooking by the Seat of My Pants. Starting in five, four, three, two, one, go. Once again, I'm going to try a new recipe. This one is called Flying by the Seat of My Pants Lasagna. I got two pounds of uh, ground beef in there. I'm browning that getting the water ready to boil for the lasagna noodles I've added a chopped onion it was just a small one small medium or small uh, white or was it yellow I think yellow onion water is boiling so I'm dumping in nine lasagna noodles be careful not to break the noodles if you can help it. Got the meat browning with the onions. That is on uh, medium heat just so you know. I was a little bit higher but I just turned it down. This is boiling that's almost ready. I realized I had mushrooms so I chopped those up and I'm throwing those in with the hamburger and the onions. That's the brand of uh, spaghetti sauce I'm using. Italian sausage, pepper, and onion. I just added three teaspoons of that into the meat. Mix that around. Okay, I just added a quarter, three quarter cups of water and the tomato sauce. I'm gonna stir that in. There's cottage cheese, about 500 grams, one egg, combining that with some seasoning. Should be uh, probably Italian, but I don't have any, so I'm gonna use my favorite spice. There it is, my favorite seasoning. Great on everything. I just sprinkle a bit of that in there. Mix that up. There's my lightly greased uh, pan. I don't know if it's 9 by 12, but it's all I got. When I said lightly greased, I meant lightly oiled. Virgin olive oil. I'm going to start off with a layer of the sauce. A layer of sauce. There's the first three noodles. The recipe I'm following based on some of the ingredients, just the basic lasagna recipe, called for half of my uh, mixture of uh, cottage cheese on there, but I put too much on, so I'm actually using the whole one kilogram package. So I mixed up the rest with another egg, so that's actually two eggs, one kilogram of uh, cottage cheese, and um, yeah, more seasoning. There's a cup of mozzarella cheese on top of that. If anybody watches any of my cooking videos, you know I do things a little bit differently. Again, this is flying by the seat of my pants cooking. I have things that need to be used up. That is pepperoni on top of the cheese. Three more noodles, another layer of the sauce mixture, the remainder of the cottage cheese mixture, more cheese, that's mozzarella, the last three noodles, the last of the meat sauce, the last of the cheese. I've been calling that mozzarella, but that's what I was looking at when I was buying it in the store, but that's not what I ended up picking up. What I picked up was smoke-flavored cheddar. So this ought to be interesting. Smoke-flavored cheddar, not mozzarella. Man, oh man. Anyway, let's see how it goes. 350 degrees for 45 to 50 minutes. Cover it up. Uh, you can uncover it for the last 10 minutes if you want it crispy. Let's see how it plays out. This ought to be interesting, I got no tin foil. So I'm using the other pan as my cover. Funny, but whatever works, right? 
Oh, my favorite part. The cleanup. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, well. I got time, I guess. All right, let's get after it. Well, that's what it looks like out of the oven. Unfortunately, I had supper already, so uh, I'm going to be cutting this up and putting it in Tupperware containers for my lunches for the coming week. Sure smells good. Thanks for watching.